Well, here's the thing about some of these crystals. Um, the rock itself, I think, was called dolostone, and that's this stuff. That's this stuff here. Uh, the crystals seem to be associated in this occurrence with almost a fossilized coral. And the darn things are sneaky. They hide in little pockets. And on the inside of the rock, like there's there's a little bug. And see how they're all hidden inside? What I'm wondering is can we expose some more with etching? So I'm going to use a diluted muriatic acid. And win or fail, I'll post the video. Let's see. So there's the acid. And there's my liquid. And the liquid is uh, about 80% water and 20% muriatic acid. Here's the, uh, the first rock. And uh, either I'll make these crystals disappear or perhaps we'll expose some more. Now this is not a how-to video with muriatic. I should really be wearing safety glasses, but I am doing it outside. So let's just see what happens. There, it's bubbling away. Here's rock number two. Let's put this end in. There we go. And here is this one. Those did look originally like calcite, but I'm thinking, I'm thinking that they are maybe even fluoride. Let's give it a go. I'll just put it in like this. There we go. Come back in a while. Okay, it's been about an hour. And it's bubbling a little bit, but let's see. <laughs> well, this one was a fail. I guess it was calcite. It completely demolished it. And that just became a very rough driveway stone. Okay. Let's look at this one. That was a fail, too. Okay. Okay, so this one was not calcite. What it did, I think, is it whitened up the rock, like the, um, the fluorite. Maybe exposed it a bit better. I don't know. I'll have to look at my earlier pictures. That's kind of cool. See that? And then I had dumped this one in afterwards. And what am I seeing here? There's a wee crystal there. <laughs> I just knocked it off. <laughs> and there's another fluorite in there. wasn't a great rock to start with and that didn't really do it any good either so I would say oh one thing about this stuff is you got to be careful where you pour it it almost acts like roundup if you um, if you pour it on a plant it doesn't do it any good at all 